um, happy Tuesday. This might be a shock to some of you because yesterday we did not announce inspiration, but we are still going to inspire. We're inspiring away. And today we are using just standard rundown. We're doing the Clefontaine 1951 notebook with the crinkle. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Then we're gonna use my Pilot Parallel six millimeter and the ink we are using today is an ink that I am just about to ink my pen with. It is Kobe number no. eight, um, Arima Amber. So, or is it Arima Amber? No, it's Arima. Uh, okay. I know you're all probably thinking like, gosh, can't this girl pronounce words? But the thing is, when you actually have to say them out loud, you realize you actually are not entirely sure how to pronounce words that you're unfamiliar with, like Arima. So, <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at this ink. Um, let's just do one more crinkle. Oh, yeah. All right. So, how are you all doing? Tell me things. Entertain me while I write what we are working with here. We are doing... Clefontan... Sorry, that was weird. 1951 notebook. Um, what? What? Oh, the pen. Sorry. 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 My brain is kind of slow today. I don't know why. Haha. Uh -huh. No comment needed for that one. Pilot parallel. And the ink we are using is Kobe number eight which is now i'm starting to think it's a rima hmm. you know what it's just kobe number eight you'll just have to deal with it so this appears to be like a golden yellow orange of sorts that's what i'm seeing here with my initial testing now i know um Chris has done a Think Thursday review on this, so you could always check out that if you like. And his fabulous artwork made it look extra amazing, whereas I can promise you my subpar artwork and writing skills, or lack thereof, will not make this look amazing. But I'm going to do it anyway. I'm focusing really hard here, Just trying to like construct these letters but also not spell anything wrong you know how it goes arima um, amber this is a beautiful color i have not used this before but i must say it's really interesting it is a nice amber like not to my eyes, it's not um, too yellow. And I know amber is supposed to be like orange, orangey, golden. Although you also have green amber. But in this case, it is Arima amber, so it's not that one. Quite nice. I like it. Wicked shading on that. Holy smokes. Wow, that's really nice. Okay. Um, far more fun than the navy that I was working with last week, right? Like, not, not bad, but this is super nice. Um, okay, we have to do two shout-outs today. One shout-out is to Janine. Happy belated birthday. And the second one is to Mishka. How are your adventures going? I hope they are going well. I hope everything is going smoothly. Okay, we've let that dry a bit. Let's just smear that to see. Wow, this ink has some serious shading. I really like this. Holy moly, guacamole. Um, okay, I'm gonna write. Right, hot. This is why I like, oh, sorry, not hot. I'm gonna write hello. Uh, this is why I like the, 
Pilot Parallel 6mm is because it really shows off the ink. And of course, if you write with fine, medium nibs, etc., um, it's not going to look like this. It's going to look more like this. But if you enjoy exploring inks, the, the parallel is so good. So good. All right. Send a heart there. Okay. Janine, I hope you spoiled yourself with pens and inks and papers as your gifts. Well deserved. Such a nice color. Oh my goodness. I am sort of blown away because here's the thing. I looked at the the, the vial and you can see I was like, mm, looks kind of like a brownie orange. It's not going to be that exciting, but it is super nice. I am a big fan. Maybe it's biggest fan, as it were. All right. Now, let us take a look at the swabbage. Here is my swab. Kobe number eight, Arima Amber. Crazy shading. It is like a, a golden orange brown. No sheen. Real. Well, there's a tiny bit of sheen, but I wouldn't say this is a particularly sheen heavy ink. Probably because it's not super saturated, so I wouldn't expect much in the sheen category, but I think it's quite lovely. You have not picked a pen yet. Stressed for choice. Oh dear. Well, the best thing to do in that case is not choose and just take them all, I think. I say this under the healthiest of recommendations. Okay, we've got Quasi Iron Gall Mandarin. This is the dried version, obviously. Um, quasi orange, quasi old gold. Just to show you, I mean, I know this is a lot of quasi going on here, but I mean, I was trying to look for like orange golds that we could compare to. We've got um, quasi El Dorado, which is pretty gorgeous, if I may say so myself. Um, quasi Iron Gall Aztec Gold, but so far nothing has really matched it. Quasi Cappuccino, Diamine Ochre, um, Robert Oster Melon Tea, which is more of like a brown, but I just thought we'd throw it in. Robert Oster Cafe Crema, which is also really beautiful. Holy smokes. Oh, it's gonna be so exciting. Okay. Uh, Robert Oster Green Olive, far more yellow. Diamine Golden Honey, way more orange than the amber is. Um, Robert Oster Orange Rumble. No, still not close. Robert Oster African Gold. Uh, I just threw a couple in of like greens and yellows. We've got the Oroshizuku Chikurin, which is obviously not the same color. Um, Jiabe Bouton Dog. Kobe Number 11 Ikuta Orange. Robert Oster Aussie Gold. And. Um, Rover und Klingner Alt Gold Grün. Robert Oster Gold Antiqua. Is that close? No. Uh, quasi Honey. That's not Honeycomb. Sorry, that's just Honey. Bungu Box Suyu Hikari. Kobe number 21 Taisanji Yellow. Nope, but those make a great pair, don't they? Holy smokes. And Kobe number two Shinkaichi Gold. So, I mean, these are not all the swabs that I have on in my swab box. But I was just trying to pick out some that may be like in the same category. But I can officially say I do not have anything that looks like this. And as such, I can totally justify a bottle to myself. That seems safe, right? That's how it goes. Okay. Pretty nice looking, isn't it? Um, the Red Fox is more orange, but I don't. It's out of reach. And there was a reason I didn't put it in, because I think it was too orange, although I should have. But anyway, um, close, but not, not quite there. Uh, Sukushi is far more brown, but I will, I'm going to look again. But that's just like, I just did like a cursory glance at the swabs. Like it wasn't a completely comprehensive, but. Oh, hello, Sonar! Okay, we are going to write Amber. 
Uh, you know, it's probably not going to fit again. This always happens to me. I mean, it happens to me because I don't plan my letters out. And then I write too big. And I use a 6 millimeter pen. And then I wonder why it doesn't fit. Oh, it's going to fit. Yay! Lovely. Not bad at all. Um, I don't find it super wet, which is not a bad thing because a lot of the Kobe Bungle Box Sailor inks are on the wetter side. But I think the flow is very good. It's normal. Uh, not super gushy. So let's turn the page. Let's listen to some crinkle. Oh, that's so good. Isn't it delicious? Okay, so because it is a happy day with so many happy things happening, like it's really nice out and some people are celebrating birthdays and other people are packing inks to move across the world. And what other happy things are happening? I'm trying to be positive and gratitudinous. <laughs> uh, oh, Janine, you cracked me up. I'm thinking we're going to start doing polls to let you guys pick what inks to inspire with for the next inspirations, you know? So that might be fun. But we're, it's, just a, it's just a thought. We're, we're working on it. We'll see how it goes. Because right now I just pick whatever I want, like what I feel like doing. And I don't even consider your input. That's pretty mean, isn't it? Kind of rude of me. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doodling. This is what I do. I doodle. Doodle. Okay. Um, oh, you know what I'm going to write? I'm going to write. I'm going to write. I'm not going to tell you what it is until I complete a little bit more of it. I'm also just making things up. Make sure I can spell it properly. Let me think. Yes? Wow, I had to think about how to spell this. And since you don't know what I'm writing yet, you're not going to laugh. But once you realize what I was going to write, you're going to laugh at me because I couldn't remember how to spell it. It's not my fault. I haven't had breakfast yet. And um, I'm trying to remember how to write letters, not spell. Outlet! That's right. I forgot how to spell this. So we have a new outlet on the website where you can purchase discounted items that are not like broken or anything, they're just discounted. And um, that's also where like discontinued things will go. So check it out, should you wish, no pressure. I'm just telling you because we announced it in the mailer today and I'm sort of excited about it, so. Lovely, isn't it lovely? Um, yay. Okay, I have probably rambled sufficiently like a crazy person to you guys about a crazy ink person and about inks. And there you go. I hope you like this. Um, okay, let me just scroll and check. I see a couple comments here. Um, okay, question. Do I have many parallels, like in the website or myself? If you're asking about myself personally, yes, I have many parallels. I probably have like 10 or 12 of them. So don't laugh. I use them all. They're always inked. This is the only one that gets cleaned regularly because I use it for inspiration. So there you go. Uh, Kobe number eight, Arima Amber. Hope this was inspiring. Thank you all so much for joining so I don't talk to myself. I am very happy to have you here. Have a lovely week and we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.